أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Continuing the lectures سورة الدخان Today we read آيات 49 and 50 Now we start reading from the beginning أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حميم والكتاب المبين إنا أنزلناه في ليلة مباركة إنا كنا منذرين فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم أمرا من عندنا إنا كنا مرسلين رحمة من ربك إنه هو السميع العليم رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما إن كنتم موقنين لا إله إلا هو يحيي ويميت ربكم ورب آبائكم الأولين بل هم في شك يلعبون فارتقب يوم تأتي السماء بدخان مبين يغشى الناس هذا عذاب أليم ربنا اكشف عنا العذاب إنا مؤمنون أنا لهم الذكرى وقد جاءهم رسول مبين ثم تولوا عنه وقالوا معلم مجنون إنا كاشف العذاب قليلا إنكم عائدون يوم نبطش البطشة الكبرى إنا منتقمون ولقد فتنا قبلهم قوم فرعون وجاءهم رسول كريم أن أدوا إلي عباد الله إني لكم رسول أمين وأن لا تعلوا على الله إني آتيكم بسلطان مبين وإني عذت بربي وربكم أن ترجمون وإن لم تؤمنوا لي فاعتزلون فدعا ربه أن هؤلاء قوم مجرمون فأسر بعبادي ليلا إنكم متبعون واترك البحر رهوا إنهم جند مغرقون كم تركوا من جنات وعيون وزروع ومقام كريم ونعمة كانوا فيها فاكهين كذلك وأورثناها قوما آخرين فما بكت عليهم السماء والأرض وما كانوا منظرين ولقد نجينا بني إسرائيل من العذاب المهين 
من فرعون إنه كان عاليا من المسرفين ولقد اخترناهم على علم على العالمين وآتيناهم من الآيات ما فيه بلاء مبين إن هؤلاء ليقولون إن هي إلا موتتنا الأولى وما نحن بمنشرين فأتوا بآبائنا إن كنتم صادقين أهم خير أم قوم تبع والذين من قبلهم أهلكناهم إنهم كانوا مجرمين وما خلقنا السماوات والأرض وما بينهما لاعبين ما خلقناهما إلا بالحق ولكن أكثرهم لا يعلمون إن يوم الفصل ميقاتهم أجمعين يوم لا يغني مولا عن مولا شيئا ولا هم ينصرون إلا من رحم الله إنه والعزيز الرحيم إن شجرة الزقوم طعام الأسيم كالمهل يغلي في البطون كغلي الحميم خذوه فاعتلوه إلى سواء الجحيم ثم صبوا فوق رأسه من عذاب الحميم ذق إنك أنت العزيز الكريم إن هذا ما كنتم به تمترون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم النبيين والمرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صل الله عليه وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين ومن استنى سنتهم واهتدى بهديهم وتبعهم بخير وإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Continuing the tafsir of Ayat 30, 31, 32 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after saving the people from Bani Israel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning the favors for saving them from Bani Israel. And we mentioned that just after they uh, were saved from Bani Israel, uh, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Bani Israel from Fir'aun, they saw some people worshipping statues after they crossed the sea. And they said to Musa, اجعل لنا إلها كما لهم, كما لهم آله. Ask Allah to uh, make, uh, or, or asking Musa alayhi salam, make a God for us like those people, a statue for us. And Musa alayhi salam, you just have been saved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this great miracle. And now you are asking to worship a stone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is how the people of Bani Israel were dealing with the messenger of Allah, uh, Musa alayhi salam. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in ayah number 32, وَلَقَدْ اِخْتَرْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ We selected them, we have chosen them for their uh, ilm, here it, uh, it, it can mean knowledge, so ilm can be knowledge, or religiousness. So a person uh, uh, who, who, have, who has ilm, it means that a person who memorized Quran, for example, a person who knows about Islam, this is ilm. But it is, it is not considered as ilm without that person actually working and applying this 
uh, knowledge in his or her actual life. So we cannot say a person is alim. A person is alim if this person is just uh, having the knowledge, but in his own life is not implementing. This cannot be alim. Even in the Arabic language, this is not alim. This is called hafiz. I know that for, for, for the non-Arab brothers, the, the, the word hafiz, it is related to memorizing Quran. But hafiz in Arabic, it is not only about Quran. It's about memorizing or having some knowledge in mind. So the hafiz can be alim if that person is applying this knowledge in his life and, and, and also implementing what he knows. If he's not, then he's just hafiz. He's just memorizing because half of a is to memorize or, to, or, it, or to keep, to, to make his or, or half of a is to keep something. If you keep in, 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 uh, in a place that it doesn't, uh, um, doesn't destroy it, like you keep the food in the fridge, for example. So you make his for the food in the fridge. You make his for the information and knowledge in your mind so that it is kept here. If someone asks you a question, uh, you you answer if, if, if when you read Quran you get it from your memory. Someone may memorize the Quran very well, but is not implementing anything from the Quran. So this is just hafiz, but is not alim. So when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say about Bani Israel, because they had some ilm, they were the only practicing worshippers for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Yes, most of them, they were not good, but they were the only one who practiced. They were preferred and chosen uh, over other people, other nations. العالمين, nations. Nations. They were preferred over other nations who were with them in this, at the same time because they were the only Muslims. Some Jews, they use this, uh, th this ayah and, and, uh, and another ayah. وَلَقَدْ وَلَقَدْ أَتَيْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالنُّبُوَّةِ وَرَزَقُنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ In Surah Al-Aqaf, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala uh, said this ayah. We have granted Bani Israel al-kitab, the, the Torah, Many prophets from Bani Israel. And we preferred them over other nations. So uh, the, the, there was a reason for this. And the reason was uh, because they were the only Muslims at that time. Not because, uh, uh, so this does not apply now. This is not effective now. Because some Jews, they say, it is in your Quran that Jews and Bani Israel are God's chosen people. It is written in the Quran that we are God's chosen people. It's not now. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he said about, when, about Bani Israel, when they did kufr after this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Ma'idah, لعن الذين كفروا من بني إسرائيل على لسان داود وعيسى بن مريم ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون. The kuffar of Bani Israel they were cursed. Allah subhanahu wa taala cursed them. عيسى عليه السلام cursed them. داود عليه السلام cursed them. ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون because of doing the sins and because of do uh, and, and because of doing a lot of corruption and killing. And how did this start? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues in Surah Al-Ma'idah. They All of this started, the, the starting of their sins and their corruption was this, and pay attention to this. كانوا لا يتناهون عن منكر فعلوا. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم described uh, this the, the, first the, 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 the interpretation 
كانوا لا يتناهون عن منكر فعلوه they were not advising each other when they see some of them doing the sins they were not advising and the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم described it even more the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم said Bani Israel there were some good people and some bad people sinners the bad people they were doing sins and major sins drinking doing zina doing all of the bad things and they had friends from the good people who are not doing the haram things so the ones who were doing the sins they had friends who are not bad people they were good people in terms of worshiping and those who are religious who are praying and have knowledge from the torah and they are not doing the haram they see the others doing the haram drinking doing zina they know and they don't and and, and then they advise them once it's not that they don't advise at all but once a man tell the other man hey this is haram stop doing it and this does not stop the man who advised from having friendship with that man eating with him going out with him sitting with him laughing with him having normal life with him and because of this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made enmity in their hearts towards each other so they became enemies and they started fighting and competing and killing each other and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed them and this is how bani israel lost this advantage of being like the chosen people of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of their iman they they were turned from choosing people to cursed people and this is something uh, uh, this heart disease or the uh, or nation disease is uh, this is something you can see in the muslim ummah today and i would claim that it is something that is well known especially for muslims who are living in non-Muslim countries, and especially for those who are living in Norway, to be very clear. Advising other people who are doing the haram is not there. It's not my business. It's not my business. I, uh, I don't do the haram myself, okay? You see others doing the haram at the front of you. Why don't you tell them that this is wrong? No, I don't want problems. This is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made turn Bani Israel from choosing people to curse people. It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do the same to us if we do like that. When we see something haram, we have to warn and we have to advise and we cannot behave normal. We cannot behave normal. You cannot have a normal friendship with a person that you know is committing a major sin. Because this is how the shaitan, uh, uh, this is how you help the shaitan. This is how you help the shaitan to continue deceiving your brother or your sister. Because, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a stronger iman than him or her. And his or her iman is weak. This is why she or, or he is doing the sins, these sins, and you are not. So as long as he or she doesn't feel that there is anything wrong, he or she will continue. But when he or she feels that there is something wrong, his good Muslim brothers are not talking to him anymore, or they are feeling disappointed. And after they knew that he's doing this sin, they are not behaving normal anymore. And he likes them. He likes to be good connection with them because they are good people. And they don't 
treat him like before because they are disappointed, they are frustrated. He can see this in their faces. They are telling him all the time, brother, this is haram. How you will face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yawm al-qiyamah like this? So they changed with him because of this sin. So this is an alarm. There is something wrong. There is something that needs to be, to be fixed. There is something broken. But when you, the good Muslims, don't show this, you just behave normal. You know that this person is doing zina. And so what? You are just behaving normal with that person. How? How? You have to say something. You have to change something. And the same with your children. This is even more important. When your child is not praying, for example, I'm not saying that you tell him, go out of my house or you don't offer him food, but you have to make your child feel that there is something wrong. When your daughter is not wearing hijab, you, you have to make her feel that there is something wrong. Life is not normal like this. And you have, you have to decide what to do. Either to, to, to maybe you, 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 you should limit your, your communication as a, as a type of punishment with, 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 with this child. Because there are many ways to show that there is something wrong. You have crossed the limits. You have crossed the limits. This is even more severe than not doing the homework or not brushing the teeth. The, the, these are more important things. Pray your hijab. But to uh, uh, not to say anything or to say once or twice and if he or she doesn't listen, then okay, what can I do? We have to behave normal. You are giving the same money. You are buying the same gifts and you are doing the same entertainment. They are able to do whatever they want from PlayStation and life is normal. They are giving all what they want. It is normal. If they pray or if they, know, if they don't pray, there is no consequences. This way you help the shaitan. You don't go, be too strict so that you don't let that person your son hate the prayer, but you have to show that there is something wrong. There, there are some limits that were crossed. You cannot continue like this. Your life will not be normal like this. Our communication with you will not be normal like this. So uh, Bani Israel lost their position and they were turned from preferred people or choosing people to curse people because of this. So this is something that we have to be paying a lot of attention to with our Muslim brothers and sisters and even more with our own uh, children. So this is وَلَقَدْ اِخْتَرْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ uh, also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have chosen some individual people. So, Bani Israel, we were like a people. But individuals also have been chosen. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that uh, many men were complete. Many men were complete in their minds. And women, only four of them are complete in their minds. And this is uh, uh, Khadija, the wife of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, the Muslim wife of Fir'aun, and Maryam bint Imran, the mother of Isa Alayhi Wasallam. So Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala have chosen those four women over all other women. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in ayah number 33, We have given Bani Israel from the signs, the miracles. Al-ayat, al-ayat can mean verses in the Quran. 
it can mean signs of creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it can mean miracles. All of those are under the general word ayat or ayah. So ayah can be a verse, can be a miracle, can be a sign of creation. So the sun is ayah, the moon is ayah, uh, the, 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 the creation of animals, all of these are ayat. And also uh, the miracles, like Musa alayhi salam throwing the stick and it becomes a snake, this is ayah. And ayat, the Quran, ayah number 33, 32, these are ayat. So the, 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 the same word can be for many, uh, give some many meanings. Here it means the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Musa alayhi salam. Ma fihi bala'un mubin. Bala'un mubin, bala' it means test. Test by good things or bad things. Test by uh, good things or hard things. So it's coming from bala or ittila. Mubin, it means very clear. Can mean very clear or very strong. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them bala when they were treated as slaves by the people of Fir'aun. And this was very hard for them. So many years they have been treated like slaves. Since the Egyptians got their independence and the, 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 the Hiksus went away from Egypt, they were treated as slaves so many years, working for free, just for food, so many years. And this was bala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then sent Musa alayhi salam and gave him these miracles. And this was good bala for Bani Israel, that is someone from them supported with these miracles. And the people of Fir'aun and Fir'aun himself could not do anything to harm Musa alayhi salam. And then the biggest miracle that what happened when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divided the sea into huge mountains, two huge mountains of water. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them and destroyed the people of Fir'aun. This was also good bala for Bani Israel and, uh, and hard bala for the people of Fir'aun. And the the, 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 the the tests that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to the people of Fir'aun before uh, the flooding, the grasshoppers uh, and, and the, the blood, all of these were bala for the people of Fir'aun. Uh, after they were saved from the sea, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gave them many uh, uh, ayat, many miracles. Uh, the, the, the place of Sinai, it was desert. Most of it, it doesn't have any trees, just deserts, a desert sand and stones. And in some places, there is a lot of stones. It's even very difficult to walk. You can, you can get injured if you don't have proper shoes. So if you want uh, even to, to farm, you cannot farm because it is not suitable to farm anything. So they walked a, a long distance. And of course, they, they, they had very uh, little food and water. And uh, uh, they walked a long distance and they did not, uh, uh, they got hungry and thirsty. So they told Musa alayhi salam, we are thirsty, we are running out of water. We cannot continue like this. Ask Allah to, to send some water to us. Then Musa alayhi salam started making dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, send them water. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel alayhi salam and told uh, Musa alayhi salam, this stone at the front of you, hit the stone with your stick. Then 12, uh, uh, water will come from 12 places in the stone for the 12 families in Bani Israel. There were 12 families or 12 tribes of Bani Israel. Each one of them, they had 
a place to get water from. Musa alayhi salam hit the stone and the water started flushing from 12 places in the stone. And Bani Israel were very happy and they started drinking water and taking water and stayed like this for some time. The, 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 the water is just flushing from that stone. So this was a miracle. This stone, by the way, still exists till today. And it is in, in, a, in a place in Egypt, in one in, in, in Sinai, it's called uh, uh, Deir Saint Catherine. Deir is, uh, uh, is not a church, but a, a big place of, of worshiping for, uh, for Christians that they live, the monks, they live and worship there. And it's well known, Saint Catherine, it's well known in Sinai. Uh, and the ones who went there, they found this stone. The water is not coming out anymore. But that stone, if you put the, 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 the places where the water was coming out, you can, you can see because there are signs in the stone. It's, it's going a little bit in, in the stone. And if you put your hand there, it is cold. So the stone itself, it is, the, the temperature is normal. But if you put your hand in that place, in, in one of these 12 places, it is cold. But it doesn't have uh, water that comes out. So this was one of the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gave and um, one of the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Bani Israel. And after the, uh, th their thirst went away, so now they are not thirsty anymore, they told Musa alayhi salam, now we are hungry. Now we are hungry. We don't have enough food. We want to eat. Then Musa alayhi salam prayed and made dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send them some food. Then the answer from Jibreel alayhi salam, he told Musa alayhi salam to go to some place and they found some trees. And those trees, they had very sweet fruits and this is called al-man. Al-man, it is very sweet and the, the, the juice of this it was cure for, uh, uh, for their eyes because of, because of the, the desert, there was, there was a lot of wind with sand and they had uh, problems in their eyes, many of them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them these trees. Musa alayhi salam said, you can eat from these fruits and also put inside your eyes from the juice of this fruit, it will cure your eyes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them a salwa. A salwa, these are birds. Let's see the, 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 the meaning there. In Arabic. Uh, Called a siman in Arabic. Let's see. This is the right word. Sheikh, I think in English it's called quail. Quail, yes, yes, I found it now. Yes. Quail is the type of bird that travels, travels distances, and uh, uh, one place where it, it, it falls down or it has to land is in Sinai. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent it to the place where Bani Israel is. And when, when these birds land, they are very tired. So they have to land and they cannot fly anymore. So when they landed, uh, Musa alayhi salam sent, said to Bani Israel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent these birds to you. So they started capturing these birds and there was a lot of them. So they had al-man and al-salwa. 
So they, they started making fire and grilling these birds and they were very happy with this food. So this was a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Bani Israel. This place did not have any trees. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let them find these trees and these birds. And after they were satisfied and they were eating from this, uh, uh, it, the, 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 the sun, it, it was a very warm weather and the sun was shining and it was very hot. So they said to Musa alayhi salam, it's very hot here and the sun is above us. What can we do? We are sweating a lot. Musa alayhi salam made dua. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought clouds above them. So the sun was not, I mean, the, the, the sun heat was not harming them anymore. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them water, gave them good food, and protected them from the sun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَظَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْغَمَامُ وَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَنَّ وَالسَّلْوَةِ Telling Bani Israel about the favors that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, did to them. وَظَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْغَمَامُ We made the clouds to cover you. وَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَنَّ وَالسَّلْوَةِ We give you الْمَن the fruits and السَّلْوَةِ the birds. Then after they were happy, they have water, they have food, uh, good weather. Then they said, Musa, we are bored. We are bored. We will not be patient to have only one type of food. We want other types of food. We want some spices. We want some onions, some garlic. We want some beans. Because it's very bored just to eat these birds and this men. We want to get some spices to put in the birds. It doesn't taste good. Then Musa السلام, said, you want, to, uh, you want to leave this meat, this, the, the, these birds that Allah gave to you, and you want to eat beans and other things? This is a better food that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to you. You want the other food? If you want this, you go back to Egypt. You will find this food there. In Egypt, there is a lot of beans, a lot of onions, a lot of garlic. You will, you will find it there. And some of them, they went to Egypt. Because Fir'aun now is, is doomed. The ones who went to Egypt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, made their life difficult. So they got poor and they got sick. And they were not, they did not have a happy life there. So uh, this how Bani, this is how Bani Israel were not grateful to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. They were always asking for more, and they never thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. They were not a better Muslims. They did not say subhanallah. They did not say alhamdulillah. When they ask something from Musa alayhi salam, they say to Musa, ask your Lord, ud'u lana rabbak. He said to Musa alayhi salam, we cannot be patient for one type of food. Ask your Lord to bring some garlic and onions for us. Your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say, your Lord. So these are some of the ayat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Bani Israel uh, through Musa alayhi salam. We'll continue next time, inshallah. Uh, yeah, we make dua and there is يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم صل على محمد في الأولين وصل على محمد في الآخرين وصل على محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين اللهم قسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا 
واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا على من عادانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا منتهى أملنا ولا تسلط علينا من لا يرحمنا اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين واكشف الهم والغم والكرب عنا وعن المسلمين اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك وأغننا بفضلك عمن سواك ولا تحوجنا ولا تذلنا إلا إليك ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب وصل اللهم على محمد وآله وصحابته وتابعه خير وأحسان إلى يوم الدين آمين